Oh, welcome to the Motor Show. It's 1934, and His Majesty's Institute of the Motor Industry is in its 14th year. Right, why don't you join me to have a look round the car and maybe go for a spin? Now, there's been a surge of car ownership recently, thanks to that clever Mr Ford and his uh, mass manufacturing techniques. There are now 2.5 million vehicles across the country gracing our highways and byways. In the early days of motoring, many blacksmiths were turning their hands to car maintenance for sound economic reasons. So by the time this beauty, the Rolls-Royce Phantom II, was on the road, there were thousands of garages and mechanics up and down the country available to service motors just like this. The RAC and the AA had between them 2,000 mechanics on cycles available to whiz to the aid of any motorist who broke down at the roadside. The IMI at the time has 3,000 members and it's making sure that newcomers to the business have the skills and qualifications they need to look after beauties like this properly. Hang on to your hats everyone. Can you get one of these in the bay in Tesco? <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough room to open out the front. Now, the Institute of the Motor Industry is still providing the necessary qualifications for technicians to be able to work on new technology safely. Coincidentally, just like in 1934, there are 2.5 million cars on the road. And of course, by that I mean the uh, hybrid and electric cars, just like this really handsome beast, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. The technological leap between uh, com the combustion engine and electric cars like this is not dissimilar to the jump there was between the horse and the car. Look beneath the body of this little beauty and you'll see a completely different animal. Now unlike back in 1934, the number of people who were qualified to work on a car like this is relatively small. There's only around 2,000, so they've got about 1,500 cars to take care of each. And yes, they're really, really busy. Now, the IMI has asked the government to put some of the money it's put aside to promote low emission vehicles into training so the industry can service motor cars like this properly and also help consumers move into low emission vehicles because there'll be lower repair and servicing costs. And because the technology in cars like this is dangerous in untrained hands, we've asked the government for regulation so technicians and their customers will be kept safe. Now, if you love cars as much as we do at the IMI, and you think these are good ideas, perhaps you could share the link for this video with your MP. You can find their address on the parliamentary website, which is parliament.uk. Enjoy the rest of the show.